Hey guys, it's Tony. Good morning. Um, I wanted to go into a little bit into the Nas into the Nasdaq uh, because I think that right now it's at a it's, it's at a point of um, you know <laughs> kind of on the edge, right? Uh, it, it's basically sitting at two points. We'll move this a little bit down here because it's basically playing out um, how I you know how I set it up a while ago. Why isn't this? There we go. We'll do that. That actually did come back down. So right now we are currently retesting that level, right? We are currently retesting the bottom portion or the top portion of this trend, right? We're currently retesting that top portion of major trend that's been going on ever since, psh, what, January 4th? So a couple of days ago, um, well, a month ago, exactly. Um, and we are looking at closing a four hour bullish trigger. So I think if this four hour bullish trigger closes bullish and we are above trend, I think we're, I personally, I think we're going to 15555 and the market's going to start recovering. If we do not uh, close bullish above this level and we end up dropping down, we end up closing, we end up breaking this trend and we end up breaking this support at 14608, I think we're going down to 14060 and I think the rest of the market is going to come down with it, especially big, uh, you know, big tech. And I think that's also going to bring down uh, Bitcoin because, um, you know, the Nasdaq and Bitcoin have been moving uh, in pretty uh, good correlation, right? So if the US, if, if the Nasdaq drops um, and breaks this trend, I'm, I'm fully expecting um, Bitcoin to drop further also. And right now, if we see Bitcoin, right, Bitcoin right now is starting to drop a little bit further. It's creating these long tail bearish wicks, which is actually a really good sign, right? Whenever you create these long tails, look at that long tail, long tail long tail long tail you it usually it usually uh is an early signal of another push up and, and bitcoin definitely wants to be closing you know bitcoin wants to be closing a, a uh what is it called a a bullish um what is it called bitcoin wants to close a bullish four hour um on the weekly right now it's looking like it doesn't want to do that anymore right it looks like it wants to create a brand new uh we uh bear candle right here which is which is kind of concerning to be completely honest if it actually goes if it creates a, a brand new fresh on the weekly a brand new bear candle on the weekly it's not good you know <clears throat> that happens this 2931k is basically confirmed if this little red bubble right this little green bubble on the secret settings down here right you guys can see that let me see if i can get out of this but you guys see this little red bubble this little green bubble right here right if that green bubble actually closes on sunday um then that's extremely concerning because that means that we're creating a fresh, uh, a fresh weak um, bear candle, and that kind of confirms uh, the price drop to thirty one twenty nine k. More than likely, I will be opening up more shorts uh, to ride this wave down. So again, that needs to actually not happen. <laughs> this needs to actually close above I think thirty six seven eleven, which is the price range of where we close a bullish week. And I think the four hour can definitely push it up higher. But again, it really depends on the NAS one hundred and what the other big tech does because it has been moving pretty in tandem all together, right? So you see a small little push there, but again, if the if the Nasdaq actually ends up breaking lower, um it breaks this trend, it breaks uh support at fourteen six oh three, um, you know, I think I think everything crashes all the way back down but if we manage to stay above this trend and actually close a four hour bull trigger i think we can rally to brand new highs we're more than likely going to break this high of 15272 possibly rally to 15555 so as of right now we're basically um on the edge we either rally hard to to probably uh maybe new highs um or relative highs or we basically sink back to the levels that we were you know, back between January 24th and January 28th when the market was was sitting at lows. And, and I think we can definitely go lower in the stock market. So it, it's it's kind of, I think I think it's going to be this week, man. This week is going to tell us today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. I think, with, I think to, today, tomorrow is going to be extremely, extremely huge. Um, and I think it's going to be a very early indication if the market is going to keep crashing down or if we're actually going to be running uh, to the upside. As of right now, I'm kind of neutral in between because a lot of things can definitely happen. I'm definitely bearish on Bitcoin right now still. But I think if the Nasdaq moves to the upside and we end up not breaking under this trend, um, I, I think we're pretty much guaranteed to go to like 15, uh, what is it called? 15, uh, 555. For, for the Nasdaq and I think Bitcoin follows, crypto follows, and I think might, that might actually be a really good uh, early signal of us rallying really hard. But again, I think today and tomorrow is going to be super, super, uh, you know, critical. So I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.